Have you ever wondered what power lies within the smallest unit of matter? The answer lies within the atom, a microscopic particle that forms the building blocks of our universe. Atoms, though tiny, are packed with an incredible amount of energy. This energy is held within the atom's nucleus, a core so small that it's virtually impossible to visualize. Yet, it's this nucleus that holds the key to the atom's power. In the early 20th century, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery, nuclear fission. This process, which involves splitting an atom's nucleus, releases a massive amount of energy. This energy they realized could be harnessed and utilized, but the potential implications of such a power were immense and frankly quite terrifying. Imagine a single grain of sand. Now imagine the energy contained within that grain of sand being enough to power an entire city. That's the kind of energy we're talking about when we discuss nuclear fission. However, this power doesn't come without its risks. An uncontrolled nuclear reaction can result in a catastrophic explosion, unleashing a force of destructive power beyond anything we've ever seen. The thought of such an event is chilling, isn't it? This led to a paradoxical situation. On one hand, the prospect of a clean, virtually limitless source of energy was tantalizing. On the other hand, the potential for destruction was immense. The balance between these two extremes became a tightrope that scientists had to walk. As the world teetered on the brink of the Second World War, nations raced to harness the power of the atom. The stakes were high, and the race was on. The potential for a new weapon, one that could change the course of war and history, was within reach. And so, the stage was set for the development of one of the most powerful weapons known to humanity. The power of an atom, once a scientific curiosity, was about to become a terrifying reality. From the depths of scientific curiosity, the atomic bomb was born. A single atom, so minuscule yet so powerful, became the focal point of a project that would forever change the course of history, the Manhattan Project. A secret endeavor of unprecedented scale, the Manhattan Project was initiated in the early 1940s, under the pressing shadow of World War II. The United States, driven by fear that Nazi Germany might develop nuclear weapons first, poured immense resources into the project. The goal was clear, harness the power of the atom and create a weapon of unimaginable destruction. The project brought together some of the greatest scientific minds of the time. Robert Oppenheimer, often referred to as the father of the atomic bomb, led the team. With him were Nobel laureates like Enrico Fermi and Niels Bohr, and a host of other brilliant physicists, engineers and mathematicians. Their collaborative genius was focused on one task, unlocking the destructive potential of atomic energy. They worked in utmost secrecy, their activities cloaked in layers of codes and aliases. The primary research and development site, Los Alamos, was a hidden city in the New Mexico desert. Here, they raced against time and the relentless march of a world war to design and build a weapon unlike any the world had ever seen. In July 1945, after years of relentless work, their efforts bore fruit. The world's first atomic bomb, codenamed Trinity, was successfully tested in the New Mexico desert. The blinding flash, the mushroom cloud, the shock wave, they were all testament to a new era of power and destruction. The team had done it. They had unlocked the atom's deadly secret. Yet, the success was tinged with an uneasy realization. The scientists understood the implications of their creation. The words of Oppenheimer himself, quoting from Hindu scripture, echoed this sentiment. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. With the successful testing of the atomic bomb, the world was about to witness power like never before. In August 1945 the world was shaken to its core. Two cities in Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, became the testing grounds for a new, terrifying weapon. The atomic bomb, an item no larger than an ordinary barrel, carried a destructive power unlike anything the world had seen before. The cities were chosen strategically, but the inhabitants could not have known the fate that awaited them. In the blink of an eye, Hiroshima was enveloped in a blinding flash of light and heat. The city was leveled, reduced to rubble and ash. The air ignited and a shockwave tore through the city, destroying everything in its path. Buildings, bridges and roads disintegrated. The people, caught unaware, had no time to seek shelter. Many were vaporized instantly, while others succumbed to severe burns and injuries. Three days later, the same fate befell Nagasaki. Once again, a quiet morning was shattered by a blinding flash and a mushroom cloud rising into the sky. The city was decimated and the human loss was staggering. 
The immediate devastation was beyond comprehension. Over 200,000 lives were lost in the blink of an eye. Countless others were injured, their lives forever changed. Hospitals, schools, and homes were obliterated. The infrastructure that held these cities together was gone, leaving only a barren wasteland. But the true horror of the atomic bomb wasn't just in its immediate destruction, it was in the invisible killer it left behind, radiation. Those who survived the initial blasts were exposed to lethal doses of radiation, leading to sickness and death in the days, weeks, and months following the bombings. The atomic bomb did not discriminate. It took the lives of soldiers and civilians, adults and children, the elderly and the young. It changed the landscape of these cities and scarred the hearts of the survivors. The face of war had changed forever and the aftermath was just beginning. The echoes of the blast were heard long after the silence fell. The aftermath of the atomic bombings in Japan was a time of despair, but also of resilience and rebirth. The immediate effects of the bomb were devastating enough, but the long-term effects were even more profound. One of the most insidious consequences was radiation sickness. This wasn't just a normal illness, it was a condition wrought by exposure to the bomb's radioactive fallout. The symptoms were horrific, nausea, weakness, loss of hair and worse. Thousands who had survived the initial blast succumbed to this sickness in the weeks and months that followed. Beyond the physical effects, the genetic impact was equally alarming. The radiation caused mutations in the DNA of those exposed, leading to an increased rate of birth defects and genetic disorders in the years following the bombings. This was a silent, unseen legacy of the atomic bomb, one that continued to haunt the survivors and their descendants. Yet, the toll was not only physical, the psychological trauma was profound. Survivors known as Hibakusha lived with the memories of the blast, the loss of loved ones and the stigma associated with their exposure to radiation. The atomic bombings left deep scars on the Japanese psyche, scars that have taken generations to heal. But in the midst of this devastation, there was a glimmer of hope. The resilience of the Japanese people shone through as they began the arduous task of rebuilding their cities, their lives and their nation. Despite the overwhelming odds, they persevered, drawing on a deep well of strength and determination. Their efforts serve as a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, even in the face of unimaginable destruction. The aftermath of the bombings was a time of great suffering, but it was also a time of renewal. It was a testament to the strength of a nation and the resilience of its people. And it served as a stark reminder of the devastating power of the atomic bomb. As the dust settled, the world was left to grapple with the consequences of the atomic age. The atomic bomb has left a lasting legacy, shaping the world as we know it. Its creation ignited a new era in human history, the nuclear age, a time defined by the power to destroy on an unparalleled scale. In the wake of the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, global superpowers raced to develop their nuclear arsenals, sparking a dangerous arms race. The world held its breath as the United States and the Soviet Union, armed with their nuclear warheads, teetered on the brink of war. This tension, known as the Cold War, lasted for over four decades, an uneasy stalemate punctuated by moments of terrifying crisis. But the atomic bomb's legacy is not solely one of fear and destruction. It also sparked a crucial debate about the ethical implications of nuclear power. The immense energy of the atom, while capable of catastrophic destruction, also holds the potential for extraordinary benefits. Nuclear power, when harnessed responsibly, can provide a near-limitless source of energy, powering our cities without the harmful carbon emissions of fossil fuels. Yet the question remains, can we trust ourselves to wield this power wisely? Efforts towards nuclear disarmament have been a cornerstone of international relations since the end of World War II. Nations have come together to negotiate treaties, such as the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, aiming to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and promote disarmament. These efforts underscore the importance of cooperation and peace in our nuclear age. As we look back at the power and impact of the atomic bomb, we are reminded of the responsibility that comes with such power. The legacy of the atomic bomb is a stark reminder that our greatest scientific achievements can be both a blessing and a curse. It's a call to humanity to rise above our destructive tendencies and channel our knowledge and capabilities towards peace.